Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We've got it. Got it. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the info war. Okay, I do want to take your calls today. And I'm going to give the number out at the bottom of the hour. And I would hope that people will call in. Wanted to bring up some of the issues that I raised because I want to hear what you think. I want your perspective. I want your view. But also enjoy and, and learn a lot from the points that you bring up, the news items that you raise, uh, in many cases that I'm not even aware of. Obviously, the quickening is accelerating. The good, the bad, and the ugly is coming out in all of us. The world is hurtling into a bottomless, globalist designed depression. Israel is now uh, more public about their plan to strike Iran, and the propaganda is being put out to do that. And whether you love Iran, hate Iran, or indifferent, you need to understand we were lied to about WMDs in Iraq. We've been lied to about Iran. And the big mega banks that are bankrupting this country and Europe by design openly are pushing the policy to launch this new war as a political distraction. We've been predicting as this depression gets worse and worse, they're going to start large wars. That is the playbook, uh, bread and butter of corrupt systems and establishments and oligarchies and ruling elites and king rats throughout history. So that is all coming up tonight, the latest developments on that front. Also, radiation levels all over Europe are going up higher and higher. Radiation levels are going up here, and they're saying it's not Fukushima, but they're saying don't worry about it. These are dangerous levels of radiation from the numbers I've seen. We'll be going over what's happening on that front. And how does that dovetail with this uh, headline, Colossal Geoengineering in Plain Sight? Later in the hour, before I go to your calls, I want to give a prelude to in-depth reports I'm going to do later this week on the radio and the nightly news TV transmission, where I'm going to present, I'm going to present a lot of it today, the patents, the documents, because there's some great films out there exposing chemtrails. And for five years, I've been working on a chemtrail film off and on and never released it. So I'm just going to try to cobble together all the research we've done and just go ahead and start putting it out on the radio and TV. Because everybody's still kind of wandering around, wondering what's going on. We've done the research and got so immersed in it, I never released it. And a lot of it, again, is out there already, and people have reported on it. They just haven't tied it together and explained what the globalists themselves admit they're doing. It is diabolical off the chart. So the Iran situation, the radiation levels going up, the giant colossal gargantuan, mega, words can't describe it, global geoengineering program going on, which they now admit they're engaged in, but the establishment won't tell us why. They now admit, okay, there's a classified program, we're doing it, you, you people weren't conspiracy theorists, but don't question what we're doing and don't ask about specifics, just sit down and shut up and drink your fluoride water. You got it? On top of that, there's been a raid in Nevada of a farm-to-fork party with 100 people or so getting together to eat organic food. Can't do that here in Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. They're cracking down on Occupy Wall Street everywhere, beating their heads in, in cities all across the country, shooting them with rubber bullets. Leaders are coming out, including former military folks, generals and others, and saying, this is not freedom. Looks like something out of Saudi Arabia or China. Whether you love Occupy Wall Street or hate them, the point is you have to defend their right to the First Amendment. And when Obama couldn't co-opt it, he went after him. We got Michael Moore lecturing everybody while he has $5 million houses all over the place. Jay-Z's making all this money off Occupy Wall Street shirts, criticizing the free market when he's made hundreds of millions off of it. But by the way, he said he won't contribute any of that money uh, to um, the Occupy movement. And then Ron Paul was given 89 seconds in the CBS uh, debate, the CBS presidential, Republican presidential debate. We'll get into that. We'll get into the latest on Penn State. 
Well, the latest on Obama giving contracts to his campaign contributors and more. Stay with us. It is the 13th day of November 2011 on this live Sunday broadcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be live here for the next two hours. I will open the phones up, give the phone number out uh, at the bottom of the hour after I've gone into uh, basically a boil down of the top stories that I think uh, are most important and actually affect our lives. Some of these stories are big national items. Uh, others aren't getting the attention uh, they deserve. Sometimes we do cover whatever the big story is, but give our own perspective and analysis on it. But more often than not, we actually cover geopolitical movements, societal movements, cultural developments, um, scientific discoveries here on this transmission that are not giving that are not getting the attention that they deserve. Again, I'm Alex Jones, your host. Thank you for joining us. I know you have a lot of media choices out there and uh, there's a lot of entertainment and things of little or no significance and also a lot of different flavors of the false left-right paradigm. But millions of people, Monday through Friday, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., join me for the weekday show, and millions also tune in here for the Sunday transmission on AM, FM, Global Shortwave, Sirius XM, and, of course, Infowars.com. So I want to welcome you all aboard uh, here today, and thank you for joining us. And this is not a spectator radio broadcast slash tv because we're streaming it out uh, over the web as well at prisonplanet.tv or infowarsnews.com this is a radio broadcast that is interactive uh, almost everything that i cover here i'd say 95 percent of it is open source in legislation in trade publications or in mainstream or alternative media and I, and I won't just cover one article generally on a subject. I'll cover an entire grouping from different angles and then give you the globalist perspective from reading hundreds of their white papers and understanding the enemy on why they're doing what they're doing and connecting the dots and how it ties together. And we've been devastatingly accurate when it comes to forecasting uh, major trends and movements in society and major events. Okay, Israel, uh, again, is making more statements that they're planning to strike Iran as early as the start of next month. I pray this is saber-rattling. We're going to go over that report first. Then we're going to look at Ron Paul, basically silenced at the CBS debate last night. Uh, sure, on average, he gets about four minutes. The top candidate gets about 14. The other candidates get six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes, depending on which other candidate you're talking about. Scientific studies have been done on it in the last few months. The Drudge Report has reported on it and others. Well, last night, Mitt Romney got more than 12 minutes. Ron Paul got 89 seconds. 89 seconds. So they let him in the debate, but for all intents and purposes, he's not there. But he still scored multiple hole-in-ones, out-of-the-parks, grand slams, whatever you want to call it, Hail Marys, in the two times he got to talk, combined time, 89 seconds. I mean, they had him down to four minutes and change in the debates. First, it was six minutes down to four minutes. There's been like 10 of these things now. They're very popular. Folks are really waking up politically and looking for answers. And he got 89 seconds. By the way, that report is up at DrudgeReport.com right now. One of the top stories there. If you want to go there, it's an easy place to find it. It's also uh, at Infowars.com. He's a link to uh, our uh, posting uh, on the subject at DrudgeReport.com. If you'd like to uh, find that, Drudge is always good at having things where they're easy to find. It's still on our front page, too. But uh, our stuff scrolls off so fast. Um, there it is. Uh, it's uh, the uh, top story, bottom top story in the uh, top left-hand corner. Ron Paul gets 89 seconds to speak in debate. We'll probably just go ahead and show folks a screenshot of that if they're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv. So I'm going to get into Iran and whether you're for the war or against it, what it signifies, what it means. Un you, you, you can't debate what it's going to do. It runs from bad to worse, but it's good for one group. 
the politicians that want to distract you from the world depression. Nothing like a war to get people to patriotically just kind of circle the wagons around government and uh, do whatever they're told uh, because uh, after all, uh, you know, after all, we're in a time of war, so we better do what the government says. So we got Israel on that front. Uh, we'll get into the Ron Paul situation, uh, the attacks on Occupy Wall Street all over the country. Here's a headline. Top military commander in court support right to protest. But all over the country, the word has been given because Obama couldn't co-opt them completely to attack them. St. Louis, Salt Lake City, Denver, crackdown on Occupy protesters. Oakland uh, cracks down. I mean, it's just pouring in. So we'll get into that report uh, coming up. Uh, also, we'll look at the uh, candidates, uh, the Republicans supporting waterboarding, new wars, and uh, other crimes against humanity that I guess Americans think now is manly and tough. So we'll be uh, 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 looking at that. Also, we've seen a lot of this. But, you know, I mean, to be fair, under Bush, tens of billions of dollars, $9 billion in one payment and a few billion after that that I saw, were given in, in a program called BioShield to, quote, develop vaccines uh, for forced inoculation during smallpox, anthrax, or other attacks. And it turned out those were basically political payoffs, and it was used as a cover uh, to build bioweapons laboratories all over the country, and that's now admitted. Well, here's the L.A. Times. It's now open season on Obama because the, he was unable to become our savior and bring us Marxist-Leninist, banker-deployed you know, deployed, uh, control because they want us all dependent on them. So the, the, the mega-rich try to bring collectivist systems to countries they dominate. But now there's open season on him politically because the, uh, he's a political uh, liability for the elite. So they've turned on him. The L.A. Times that said he could walk on water and might have the same magical powers as the Tooth Fairy combined with the Easter Bunny, as well as the Lucky Charms uh, creature. Uh, the L.A. Times is the headline. Cost. Need questioned in $433 million smallpox drug deal. A company controlled by a longtime political donor gets a no-bid contract to supply an experimental remedy for a threat that may not exist. Am I, am, am I waking up in the twilight zone here where the L.A. Times isn't just criticizing Obama for, for, for payoffs to political donors? They're coming out with the energy company scams as well. But they're criticizing vaccine programs that aren't needed. <laughs> I guess you do want to sell a few newspapers. You do want to stay in the game. You do want to stay relevant a little bit. It's kind of like the L.A. Times uh, and the New York Times three weeks ago came out and admitted that busted uh, Iranian car salesman down there that it was totally fake. And, of course, it did come out that was fake in a way to start a new war with Iran. And I'm not saying Iran's lily white, you know, the driven snow, uh, perfectly, you know, pure as the driven snow. I'm saying they lied to us about WMDs before. Now they're not even really lying. They're just saying they could make a bomb at these facilities, and they're studying a type of nuclear technology that could be used for weapons that 100-plus other countries openly study, including the University of Texas at the J.J. Pickles Center up off North Research with two nuclear reactors, experimental. The average Austinite doesn't even know they're there, and they happen to be doing these exact same tests because I've gone and researched it up there. Are we going to have the U.N. and NATO come, you know, attack North Austin because they've got uh, a big, giant experimental and then one smaller nuclear experimental reactor up there? I mean, the U.N.'s been inside these reactors. They can't create fissile material to make an atomic bomb or a hydrogen bomb. We come back from break. I'm going to get into Iran first, briefly. Then I want to get into Ron Paul. Then I'm going to get into the incredible meltdown of Europe, which we told you. They're going to call it the failure of the euro. And out of the depression that's brought in there, and now all the big pundits at CNBC, CNN are saying it's a global depression. It was always.